Three months in the hospital. After the dog just let it out. Ever since then, I like to see guys' hands out, out, where I can see them. That was your name? Of course I do. You know that, Claire. Well, you're just going to have to take my word for it till I see you tonight. Go ahead, kid. Tell her you love her, and we'll all get some work done. <laughs> Honey, Maya says to tell you I love you so we can all get back to work. No, no, I didn't say Maya loves you. I said, I don't know, maybe he does too. Hey, Maya? Claire wants to know if you love her, too. I have to ask my wife. She makes all the big decisions in our family. <laughs> well, I better get back to work, Kenny. I'll see you tonight. Steve? Yes, sir. You want anything that can't wait? No, sir. What have you got? Well, hop over to the river at Pier 12. Found a floater. I hate floaters. I just finished with a heart. You can pretty well tell from the salt content of the blood on the left side of the heart whether they drowned in salt water or fresh water. Oh, well, I guess it saves you a lot of trouble. The river's fresh water. Well, there's absence as for water. The thing is, if a person's already dead when they hit the water, then no water at all can get in the bloodstream. Like this one. How'd she die of? Acute arsenic poisoning. You want the rest now? Yeah, okay, shoot. Time in water, about three weeks. Age, approximately 30. Height, 5 feet, 3 and a half. Weight, 125 pounds. Hair, brown. Appendectomy scar. Vaccinated on left thigh. Tattoo between right thumb and forefinger. Wait a minute. Tattoo? Yeah, about the size of a dime, shaped like a heart. And it had the word Mac inside it. Spelled M-A-C. <laughs> You ain't by the beat, bro. Tattoos, none. Everything else fixed. 
Maybe she left the tattoo later. Sure, anybody's been here in Scranton, let's check the dental shark. What's the trouble with this job? Finding out. Why? Dear Mom and Dad, I love you very much, but there's much more to life than sitting in Scranton, hoping I'll meet somebody who will ask me to marry him. Maybe I'll find somebody here. At least I have to try. Your loving daughter, Mary Lou. She's not dead. My daughter is not dead. Don't think I'm sorry. Look. You even check the girl's teeth against the dental chart you sent to the missing personal bureau. They're identical. You sure? Unfortunately, yes. Any luck on those tattoo parlors? No, not yet. Hey, how about the out-of-town parlor? Out-of-town parlor. Newark, Jersey City, Philadelphia, Hoboken. Keep trying. She's a good swimmer. She went never for swimming. I told you, Mr. Prostick, she didn't drown. You say this girl has a tattoo. Mary Louise never had no tattoo. I wouldn't let her. She wanted one. She must have had to put it on after she left Scranton. Miss Protek, did your daughter ever have any friends named Mac? McDougal, McDonald, any name like that? My daughters don't have boyfriends. She's a fine girl, but boys don't realize that. Boys only see what's on the outside. You've got the wrong girl. Mr. Parshak. This girl. Whoever she was, was wearing this charm bracelet. You don't want to claim this. Why should I? Later, she turns up in the river. In the river. She's breaking news to her father today. She had the word Mac tattooed in her heart, right? Tattooed. How many Macs do you suppose there are in this city? You said it. So how do you go about finding a guy named Mac? Tattoo problem? I've been checking them, all of them. I suppose there are many women who are tattooed. Who, oh, you? Oh, come on, I mean, it's a birthmark. Very pretty, dude. Of course, I... I have seen prettier. Yeah, there was a stripper once in a burlesque show. Boy, she had a beaut. Right here. Hey, man. Hey, who? The stripper. I mean, you don't have to be. What'd you do all day? I washed your hair. 
Red. Red what? Ten pound magazine. What do you read this trash for? For cakes. You ought to be ashamed of yourself reading stuff like that. Come here. Have I told you today I love you? I'm afraid to wake up. I'm afraid that the past two weeks will turn out to be just a dream. The realest dream you have ever had, Orville, will have. I only believe it's real when you're with me. Will you stop that? Huh? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you to quit that? <laughs> Running yourself down. I mean it. Kurt, it, it's just that I know what I look like. I try to be honest. Honey, what? All right, it depends on your standards. If you want a pin-up girl, that's one thing. I wanted a woman. An intelligent, attractive, passionate woman. <laughs> and I found one. Kurt, it's... Yes? I love you. <laughs> it's just that it, it, it's so hard for me to understand. I mean, for a man with your looks, how can you be lonely? Oh, come on, Anna. Quit it. You know a lot of people and uh, have a lot of dates. You'll still be lonely. That's why I put the, uh, the ad in the magazine. <laughs> Does that answer your question? You want to live beautiful? Hey, you're kind of cute. I have a lot of kids to get acquainted. That stuff, you saw mine. Hmm? Hey, you smell nice. What are you wearing? Just soap and water? That's amazing how nice you can make soap smell. What's the spot car? That's official business. I'll get a stop at a tattoo parlor on the way to lunch. Oh, it has me thinking every minute. I just want to take a minute, honey. This is business. All right. You come for tattoo? Make very nice picture, not expensive either. I'd like to ask you some questions, Grace. You detective? Mm -hmm. A police lady? Now the lady's my wife. Oh, very pretty wife. You lucky detective. Does she want tattoo, maybe? Uh, listen, have you tattooed any ladies recently? I tattoo everybody. Have you tattooed any with the name Mac in a heart? Right here. Oh, I don't make tattoo like that. Very painful there. No place for tattoo is skinny flesh. Why would woman want tattoo there? Well, maybe it was Max's idea. Do something wrong? Could be. I make very nice butterfly lady. 
here on shoulder. Very good for strapless gown. Very decorative. No, you don't. Not today, Annie. No. Make special price. Some other time, maybe? Yeah, maybe some other time. Right. Sure, I remember. For crying all the time I was doing it. Big lug standing there grinning like he was enjoying himself. Can you describe it? Oh, he's a big fella. Good looking. Uh, brown hair, about six foot. Husky build. What about his eyes? What color? Blue, I think, or maybe gray, one or the other. Any scars or birthmarks on his face? No. Anywhere on his body? How would I know? I didn't undress him. I'm invisible, like on his hands. I didn't notice any. Did you get his name? Only his first name, Kurt. Did she call him that? Yes, she did. When they first came in, she said, why don't we use the whole name, Mary and Kurt? And he said, no, there wouldn't be room. Just use the initials, M-A-C. Mac. Mary and Kurt. Ouch. Hey, man, will you take it easy with that needle there? How'd she like the tattoo? She didn't tell me. Look, if he comes in again, let me know. Ask for Kling, 87th Precinct. Sure thing. Hey, nice work, Sally. A mighty pretty flag. Flag? Man, I want the mermaid. Something. Who's that guy with her? Don't know. How about spaghetti and meatballs? Are you fat? I mean, every woman should have your problem. You look the menu from a lab to shake on. Dave. If I had a doll like you, I wouldn't be wasting my time on that phone. I don't want to call you up. Why don't you ditch that creep and meet later? Don't worry about your boyfriend. I can handle him. Come on, you're no gold to make, kid. I can spot a dame like you clear across the room. What's the trouble, mister? No trouble at all. Now, look, you're annoying the lady. Why don't you just take off? I got news for you. I like it right here. You all right? Just talk to Haviland. Things not there yet, but I left this number. Hey, go, John. Look, why don't you just take off? Right? You take off. <laughs> I was hoping you'd do that, pal. Your name, Corella? Yeah. There's a phone for you. Thank you. Yeah, this is Corella. Bert, you did? Yeah. I got a pretty good description of him. I'm typing it up now. I'll get it out sometime this afternoon. Sometime this afternoon? You get that thing out now. <laughs> I call you by your professional name. You couldn't for nothing. Sit down. This is an outrage. Lady, it was that dance of yours that was an outrage. You just don't understand art. And you don't know the law. What did you say your address was? I didn't. 
But if you'd really like to know. And I wouldn't. But uh, a judge would. Oh, uh, honey, it's getting kind of busy around here. I'll, I'll see you tonight, okay? Bye. It reminds me, is uh, Claire still sore at you for breaking your date? Oh, we made up. I'll bet you did. Still see the lipstick on your collar. Yeah. Six feet one, age approximately 30 years old. Dark hair, 180 pounds. Sounds like a real He-Man we're looking for. Yeah, some He-Man. According to what I found out, he got a big charge out of watching this girl being hurt. Swell. It's too bad we didn't get his last name. I mean, he can't have everything. Tattooing, arsenic, the river. What's he do it for? Money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. called. I wrote the message down in case you were out. Oh, you don't have to look at it. You know what it says already. He's working late. Maybe you'd like to come and have supper with us. Oh, thanks. Some other time. I got a roast in the oven. I got to keep an eye on it. Come back. Charlie, much honored. What? Oh, you cannot speak. Laryngitis, maybe? Oh, very sorry. You understand me? You read my lips? You want tattoo? Butterfly. You want butterfly. This one, very pretty. Not much difference in price. A big one, little one. Oh, please, you come this way, please. Over there. You decide color? Black? Black, very good. Like lace. And what time is it? Oh, how long? Oh, not take long. 30 minutes. Please, sit. Excuse me. Yes, please? Hello, I'd like to have some tattooing done. Busy now. You wait a few minutes. I said, uh, what do you call a few minutes? Fifteen. Uh-huh. Fifteen. All right, I'll be back. Fifteen minutes. Never rain, but it pour. Sorry, darling, there'll be a little wait. There's a bar down the street. Suppose we have a drink. <laughs> Lady in Shanghai. She's so pretty, butterfly so pretty. I marry her. We very happy, like you and detective husband. Since wife died, you most beautiful thing come to my shop. I make lovely butterfly. I don't see any difference. See how you can waste so much time trying to improve on the unimprovable. <laughs> All right, now drink up. Mm. It's better. Mm. 
Is it? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'll order you another. Okay. <laughs> you know something? You can make a wonderful husband. The most wonderful husband a woman ever had. He's finished. Very pretty. Very pretty. Wait till husband see. His eyes be like happy saucers. Excuse me. Customer, come back. Welcome. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. You want to have two? Flower for lady? American flight for gentlemen? No. No. I want a heart from a best girl. With our initials in it. Right here. Sit down. Sit down, please. I'll be right back. Wait a minute. I'm in a hurry. Uh, Charlie finishing other customer. You said 15 minutes. It's been 20 minutes already. Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Man here with girl, maybe one your husband look for. He want heart tattoo like other girl, you understand? Forget something. I said I was in a hurry. <laughs> Only take a minute. Promise customer must do. Charlie man of work. Okay. It's so warm in here. Can we have the door open? Yes, honey, of course. 87th precinct. I, I speak to Mr. Carella, please. I'll connect you. Just relax, honey. It's only nerves. <laughs> Dragon for gentlemen. I told you what I want. A small heart with the initials PAC. You want to do it or not? Oh, yes, for lady. Yeah, that's right, for the lady. I told you. It's right here. Cat. I don't feel well, Cat. Well, we better go. Oh, yes, heart. Right here. Heart. Some other time. Only take a few minutes. Get out of the way. Can't you see the lady is not feeling well? Make you special, right? They're gone now. What we do? Too much, pretty lady. Too much. Where to, lady? Huh? Oh, I get it. You want me to follow him? Sure. Lady. 
You'll have to pay the rock back. <laughs> to the 87th precinct. The 87th precinct. What are you doing? Following me. Huh? Answer me. Can't you talk? Stephen Carella. In case of emergency. A cop, your husband is a cop. He sent you to follow me, did he? Huh? Is that who you're looking for? Party. How come you're still here? Claire is picking me up. Stepping out? We'll have to make up for last night. Cling. Uh, you're passing on what message from where? Corella. I want Detective Corella. Detective Corella's not here. This is Detective Cling. Who's this? Now listen, I'm a cabbie, see? I just took this lady to Pier 7, and she gives me this here note. Pier 7? And she was a deaf mute. All right, stay there. Myra, get a squad car up. Give me a squad car right away. Yeah, hello. Steve Burt. Listen, is Teddy there? Teddy, you know why. What phone call? Pier 7? Yeah, I'll meet you there, right away. Let's go. Meyer! That was Claire! Not very friendly, was she? She'll be 
you guys feel? So would you. Sign my work. Gee whiz, your skin is so white. Smooth. And real blonde hair. And very pretty. Very pretty. Did you know I can get any woman that I want? No, really, I'm not kidding. It's true. Men, uh, don't like me, but, uh, women do. Any woman, even you. <laughs> where? Well, when she got out of the cab, where? This way. Like a bug. Well, at least you fight. You don't whine. First her, and then you. I have a feeling that you might be the one girl that I could really love. I know, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds... I don't know, I just had this feeling. It's the one thing that I need. Gee whiz, your skin is so white. Smooth. And real blonde hair. You're very pretty. Very pretty. You want to know something really weird? It's just possible that... <laughs> That you could be the one woman that I can really love. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous, but... I know it sounds silly, but I... I don't know. It seems like you... The one thing that I really need... Well, at least it's, it's worth finding out about. Now, listen. In my whole life, I have never really loved a woman. Still alive. Get an ambulance. You stay with her. Right. Thank you. 
fizeram tanto de...